we present Slide, single image 3D photography with soft layering and depth aware in painting. Single image 3D photography is the task of converting a still image into a 3D representation from which one can render novel views. State of the art approaches, such as 3D photo, decompose the scene into hard layers using depth discontinuities. This approach can't capture fine hair like details as shown in the results here. In slide, we propose a soft layering formulation that allows incorporation of intricate appearance details and matting. Slide has four main components. Given an input image, we first estimate inverse depth or disparity using a monocular depth estimation network. We use this disparity to do soft layering, which involves estimating soft foreground visibility and also soft disocclusions. We then produce a background RGBD layer using the soft disocclusions as an inpainting mask for our depth aware inpainting network. We also construct a foreground RGBDA layer using the input image, disparity, and soft foreground visibility. Finally, we combine the foreground and background layers into novel views with layered rendering. Now we'll briefly explain each of these components. For depth estimation, we use MIDAS, a state-of-the-art depth estimation network that provides excellent generalization to a wide range of scene types. To understand our soft layering, consider this input image and the corresponding disparity. If we render novel views using this image and depth directly, we'll see stretchy triangles where there are big changes in depth. To avoid these stretchy triangles, we compute soft foreground visibility at each pixel using disparity edge magnitudes. Rendering with this visibility removes the stretchy triangles and allows us to see through to the background, shown here in black. This is our foreground layer. To estimate the background layer, we reason about occluded and disocluded regions using pairwise disparity differences in a pixel neighborhood. We then use the resulting disocclusion map to do RGBD inpainting of the background. This is a particular inpainting problem in which we want the inpainting network to borrow information from background regions, such as the vegetation in this example, but not from foreground objects, like the giraffe. To achieve this, we propose specialized depth-aware training techniques. Here's another sample result of background RGBD inpainting. Notice how the inpainted region mainly extends the background rather than the horse in the foreground. We now have two layers, a foreground RGBDA layer and a background RGBD layer. We then render both layers from a novel viewpoint and composite them to create our final novel views. Just using depth discontinuities for foreground visibility may not capture fine hair-like details like those in this example. But our soft layering formulation can model such fine details by estimating foreground alpha mats using foreground saliency and matting networks. We can compute foreground visibility based on a foreground alpha mat and combine the depth-based and mat-based visibility maps to obtain a final foreground visibility map. This allows us to model intricate matting details while also respecting the depth discontinuities. Here we show the foreground layer only, rendered from a novel viewpoint, with and without using an alpha mat. The alpha mat helps us to preserve fine details in novel views. For evaluation, we present experimental comparisons with three recent state-of-the-art techniques and on three benchmark datasets. We also perform user studies on online photo collections. LPIPs, PSNR, and SSIM metrics show that Slide consistently outperforms previous work on all three benchmark datasets. Here's a comparison of different techniques on a scene from Real Estate 10K. Both SINSIN and Single Image MPI produce blurry results. Our Slide technique produces better results around occlusion boundaries than the 3D photo method. Here's a close-up view of those differences. Next. Results on a sample scene from the Mannequin Challenge dataset. We see similar improvements from slide over the baseline results. And this example on a scene from the Dual Pixels dataset shows a similar improvement.
For user studies, we collect two sets of images from online photograph collections. Set 1 is a collection of diverse images, whereas set 2 consists of close-up views of objects with thin hair-like structures. Here's an example showing the better preservation of hair structures using slide when compared to 3D photo. Notice the fine details of the dog fur in our results. And another example. Slide generally produces higher quality results than 3D photo, especially around hair-like structures. In our user studies, users preferred 3D photo results in 20 to 26% of cases. Around 16 to 18% cases are tied, and users preferred slides results in more than 55 to 60% of cases. For images with fine detail, Slide with matte was preferred even more. This table shows the average runtime of the different slide components. We only need a single forward pass through these components for 3D photography, resulting in a very efficient system. In summary, we present Slide, a new approach for 3D photography with key techniques being soft layering and depth aware inpainting. Slide has several favorable properties. It is modular in design, while also providing a unified approach that requires only a single forward pass through the components. It has a fast runtime and can produce state-of-the-art results on different benchmark datasets. Thank you for watching.